The view at Lake Eola, a stunning new development of high-rise condos in downtown Orlando. Churchill Development Group has come to Orlando as a partner, making the view at Lake Eola more than just a spectacular addition to the skyline of the city beautiful, but a generous friend to the Central Florida community. When we came to Central Florida, we wanted to find a way to make a difference. We wanted to find a way to really be part of the community. So we decided that we wanted to give away a million dollars. We thought that would really make a difference. But since we didn't have a million dollars, we looked around at what we did have, and what we did have were condominiums. So we set out and we started looking for partners. We wanted to find organizations that could actually get this million dollars into the hands of the people who needed it most. We wanted to find organizations that could touch the lives of thousands of Central Floridians. And we found those in the not-for-profit organizations here in Central Florida. And on a daily basis, one life every 33 seconds is impacted by the cardiovascular disease. Economic impact of cultural communities in the state is over three billion dollars. We estimate that over 400 million people come to cultural events every year, which creates over 300,000 jobs. We calculated how much food we were using, and that is 2,000 tons of food. It was unbelievable to me the need out there, the need for, for everything, the need for books, for toys, for food, the need for donations to support their programs. To run the Heart Association in Central Florida it takes a vast amount of effort from hundreds and even thousands of people on an annual basis. We have two shelters in, in Central Florida. Last year we took in more than 12,000 owned animals. The, the neatest thing about Charity for Charities is all we do is give money to charities. We create the party, we create the prizes, and then we allow our, non our nonprofits to benefit. More than anything else, we need a healthy supply of volunteers. We want to get those kids to a standard academically that they have never reached in their lives. You know, we're all trying to grow our community. And the Downtown the Arts District mission is to grow the arts in the heart of Orlando. All of these organizations do so many great things and touch thousands and thousands of lives. And one of these organizations that we became very close with is New Hope for Kids. We started out in 1985 granting wishes to uh, children here in Central Florida. We do about 50 wishes a year. All the children have a life-shortening illness. Not necessarily a terminal illness, which makes it all the better because we get to enhance their lives. New Hope for Kids grants wishes for seriously ill children. But what they're probably best known for is the counseling that they provide for grieving families who have lost a loved one. Their warm and nurturing, caring environment really helps these children to heal. The grief program is, is designed to get young people through probably one of the most difficult times in their lives. When we first arrived, we were all very, very lost. We just didn't know which way was up, where we were going, what we were going to do from one moment to the next. Death of especially a parent or someone who's in your home every day changes you forever. As a result of our coming here, you know, once every other week, Romeo has grown tremendously. The same is true for Brianna, and I've actually discovered that all the things and stages and phases that I've gone through were also normal. A lot of people say we have to learn to get over it, but you have to learn to walk through it because the grief journey is lifelong. It's a wonderful place, and I can't imagine our life without it. We'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of the charities who put so much time and energy into this fundraiser, and to all of Central Florida for supporting the organizations that keep our community strong. We have really enjoyed working with all of the different charitable organizations. It's been a truly amazing experience. We feel honored and privileged to have been a part of this effort to raise a million dollars for Central Florida. And we feel that this is only the beginning, and we look forward to building this community together. Oh,